And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kadash. Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone, taught me the truth through the Spirit, sing honors to the elect. Peace and blessings to the one third and confusion the faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. I want to play a, a video, a clip about two minutes, over two minutes long. But as you can see on the screen, they have a website called stophavingkids.org or .com. And <laughs> this is the premise that they want to have on the earth. See, <laughs> all these conspiracy theorists, you know, terminology like they like to throw out there when you speak of some truth. I mean, well, now you're blatantly putting it out of there out there but you put it under the guise of an organization of there's so many homeless people there's not enough food there's not enough shelter we don't have enough money yada 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 life is getting harder inflation so just stop having kids well what about the georgia guidestones could it be in cahoots with the georgia guidestones now a lot of people may not really know about the georgia guidestones i really recommend that you um do your research. Just go to Google. That's why you have Google. It's not just for TikTok. You don't have the internet just for TikToking and Instagramming and, and bull driving. All right? You, you really need to pay attention. And I want to show you this also on the screen. Um, as you can see, it says, this is at the very top in English. Because they have the Georgia Guidestones in, I think, four different languages. At, at least, is it at least four? There's maybe four to seven different languages. And it says, maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. There's over seven billion people in the world. So how the hell can you reduce the world population to over 500 million? And how can you do that rapidly? I don't have to say anything. You should. You, you mean like the light bulb above your hair? She'd be like, "Ding." Nonetheless, though, continuing on, I'm gonna bring out a few precepts because it's supposed to be a God fearing country. Every president gets inaugurated on the Bible, correct? So this is um Matthew twenty four and twenty two, and except those days should be short, and there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And that's what Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is doing. Things and events and prophecies are occurring so rapidly at an alarming rate. Modern day people just can't keep up with the news or the times or what's going on or the signs. But see, the Lord has set a watchman. We see the, we live for these times. We live for these moments. We live for the things that are happening, the activities and the prophecies. Can we meditate on the on the Bible? Now I'm gonna break out one more precept, and then I'm gonna play the rest. Of, I'm gonna play this video for you to listen to. All right. Genesis one and twenty seven. So God created man in His own image, and the image of God created He him, male and female created He them. It comes to point, and God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. Not. Start having kids, be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of this video. Stay in the spirit, don't fear it, just endure it. Ask for forgiveness, prepare without ceasing, stay humble, remain diligent, quit mashallah, muffle up a ball. Shalom. For the homeless situation, for people who can't afford food, and just wait till the grid's down because these are the people who are going to be triggered and foaming at the mouth. Look at some of the signs they have, and I'm going to show you them actually out, actually out in public, talking to people about how it's bad to have kids. They have signs teaching kids that having kids is optional. And they say their goal is, as a collective liberation movement is to publicize the often overlooked and misinterpreted ideology and child-free lifestyle through a multi-layer approach. These tactics include encouraging advocacy, 
supplying people with educational resources and materials, as well as producing clothing and accessories that inspire critical thinking, reflection, validation, and positive change. All societies and cultures have heavily encourage and promote having kids. Uh, that's the whole, one of the whole reasons we're here on Earth is to have children, you morons. Not to become famous musicians and not to become famous actors. Not to achieve our dreams. It's to procreate. It's part of life and it is part of quote unquote evolving as a species. You wouldn't be here if your parents didn't procreate. You lunatics. Look at these people interacting with others literally out in public and listen to the just nonsense that comes out of their mouths. So what's stophavingkids.org? I think that would be a really great service to the planet. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean definitely. I mean first off you probably already know there's so much already existing life whether we're talking about humans or other animals yeah. uh, who are in need and why are they not the priority? Why are we um, when, when birth control exists, contraception exists, obviously access differs across the world. Thank you. Um, but yeah, we should, be, we should be encouraging people, we should be, societies and cultures should not be encouraging their citizens to have kids, they should be encouraging their citizens to take care of already existing life. Um, yeah, again, in my role, like I'm expected to say as Pastor Hope, another little miracle. It's like, well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe a miracle would be living in harmony with the earth and like coming back into balance. Yeah. So they're out there talking about this stuff, saying that we need to stop having kids. Yet they, I mean, unfortunately, their parents didn't follow the protocols that they're asking other people to follow. Because that would have been very appreciated. Because we have enough lunatics running around in today's world. These are the types of people that not only should not have a right to even... You know, they take away free speech from you and from me. And that these people are out there telling people not to have kids and telling them it's evil and wicked. The insanity of this world and this country is just flushing itself down a toilet. You can't even... You cannot convince me.